Hey everyone, welcome to a Game Creator tutorial. Today we're going to go through installing Game Creator and its modules. So the first thing we want to do is come into Unity and install Game Creator itself. Now this will take a minute. This little bit's fast and then it takes a while. So we get this little dialog popping up saying install Game Creator. And this will create our game creator menu up here and also install all the actual scripts. So we just need to wait for all that. And now it's going to do the actual work, which is a bit silly. Okay, so once we've got that installed, we can go into the Game Creator menu. This gives us the option to check for updates, reinstall. The Tools menu has a link to the documentation and the toolbar. Uh, the Module Manager is what we're actually going to talk about today, and then there's the Preferences. And I'll quickly just show you in the Preferences, we can also see uh, this Game Creator Hub, Module Manager documentation, all that stuff is here as well. So in the module manager itself, at the moment, we've only got Game Creator installed and we haven't installed its examples yet. You can see that by the fact that it's a light gray. Now what we'll do is we'll just quickly grab the Malie module and I will import that into the project. So again, this is just gonna take a second. And you can see that now in the module manager, we've got the Malie module and the Malie examples. And again, they're only light gray, so they're actually installed. So what we need to do to install the module is click on it and hit enable. But just before I do that, I wanna show you some things do have dependencies and you won't be able to install them until other things are installed. So for example, if I try to put the Malie examples in now, it's gonna say I can't do it because there's a dependency missing. And it tells me down here that this requires the Malie module. So if we install the Malie module by hitting enable and then just do your standard Unity stuff, wait for all that to compile itself, now I can do the Malie examples and it'll import just fine. I'm not going to bother doing it because it'll take time, but that is how you install a module and that's how you need to do pretty much every module. Some of the third party ones you don't need to, but anything that uses the module manager, which is most of them, you will need to actually use the module manager. And if you want to get rid of a module, of course, you can hit disable. Um, but generally, you know, it's just as quick to delete the folder from over here. The other thing we want to look at today is the hub, which I'll pull that back up again. You might have seen it before. And the hub just has a whole bunch of extra actions, some of them created by community members, some of them created by Marty, who makes Game Creator, just some extras. Things like there's a wait action in built into Game Creator, which just lets you wait for one, two, three seconds or whatever. Uh, on the hub, there's a wait random action, which lets you say, wait for a random number between one and five seconds, which is incredibly useful. And that's in my kit that I use all the time. As long as you are logged in and have your um, receipt number in your account, you can download from the hub. So you just need to click on something. It'll usually have a brief description and then you can download it. I'm not gonna bother downloading anything because I've got a bunch already. This is my game creator actions folder. And you can see there's a couple of different types. Most of them are asset packages, but a few of them are just scripts. You can install them the same way. You can just drag and drop a script in and Unity will say, yeah, great, you've installed a script. And that apply force action, if I, quickly come over, let's create an empty game object, and I'll just put an action script on it. And if we come in now here and say force, you can see this apply force action has been installed. The other ones are exactly the same, only they're in proper Unity packages. So if I take, for example, this physics explosion, put it in here, you'll see that it's going to install it to a sensible place, Game Creator Hub, Actions, Physics Explosion. We install that, and you'll see that we get a Game Creator Hub folder created for us, and that Physics Explosion is in here. So now if I come in and say, Explode, 
you'll see this explosion has been added to our actions. And it's as simple as that. With these ones that are scripts, you can put them wherever you want. So once you've got an actions folder there, you know, you can just drag and drop it in there. It won't make any difference at all. The script itself is what actually tells it where to be in Game Creator. So you can move these things around freely, unlike a lot of assets. Um, and really, that's it. Uh, hopefully that was useful and short. Thanks for your time.